Well, it is, of course, swim season, the time where kids are out playing in backyard pools all across Central Florida. But the dangers of drowning are never far from our minds. We had several just last month, including the death of a seven month old boy who fell into his parents pool. You're probably wondering what are some things that I can do at home to prevent this from happening at my house? Well, we found one way today. You can teach babies to swim as early as six months old. No kidding. So if you have a swimming pool or you live near water, you're going to want to stop what you're doing and watch this next report. First on Fox Now, Lauren Lopanzina has more on the infant swimming resource program. Eyes are not fooling you. <laughs> Baby Reina, just eight months old, is swimming. Watch the instructor flip her over face down in the water. Raina knows how to flip herself back and float. Instructor Lisa Bain calls this survival swimming. The object for six months to 12 months of age is survival swimming. They would learn to roll back to a float, remain in a float until a adult or was able to find them. Cocoa Beach lifeguard Harvey Barnett started teaching this method to the tiniest of tots back in 1968. That's after he watched a baby drown in a retention pond. In Florida, drowning is the number one cause of accidental death for young kids. And those who die in swimming pools, 90% of them are six inches away from the wall when they die. Which is why Vanessa Prevet started her daughter Raylin in the program at six months. Instructors teach her to instinctively turn and find that wall. You know, we have a pond in our yard, um, just safety mainly. God forbid some uh, fallen in a body of water and, and not knowing what to do. Infant swimming resource instructors receive intense training in the pool and out. They study psychology and behavioral science too. I thought it was going to be nerve wracking, but um, the, just to watch her go through it. She cried quite a bit, but just the outcome of it was unbelievable. For some lessons, kids even wear their clothes to get used to surviving the water with added weight. Yes, the babies cry. But instructors say no differently than they would at the doctor's office, in their car seat, or on their first day of school. All things parents would insist on, despite a few temperamental tears. <laughs> to watch her actually swim now is unbelievable. So that's the, that's the best part of it all. It really was just amazing to watch. The babies do not panic. After a few lessons, they are rolling, floating, and finding that wall. Now, the program requires 10 minutes a day, five days a week for about three to four weeks. It is a commitment. The cost between 60 and $70 a week, depending on the instructor. And we'll go ahead and link you to the website and phone number for Infant Swimming Resource right at our website. That's WOFL.com. All right, and the parents cannot actually get in the pool with the kids. That, that'd be hard. That's tough for a lot of parents. Uh, you're not allowed to get in the pool with your baby. Oh. The reason being, they really want you to focus, they want the baby to focus on the method, right. not mom. Right, so. otherwise they'd just be trying to clamor to get over you the whole time instead of the wall, I exactly. guess. Exactly, yeah. it's a leap of faith. One of the instructors mm. today said this is probably for every baby, but not for every parent. Yeah, no kidding. It's a leap yeah, of faith. You're right, it's, it's life-saving advice. All yeah. right, Lauren, thank you.